Juniperus depiana. Alligator juniper, look at this. Like I grew up in Florida and for once when they say, they name the plant some, like alligator or this or that, for once it really does look like what the name is. This is like, looks like alligator skin without any doubt. Big old gnarly 30 foot alligator. This is, uh, we have quite a few different junipers, uh, but this one, this is my favorite medicinal one. And, uh, you know, sometimes, sometimes the leaf of this juniper dried and added to a little bit of the manzanita leaf makes it more antibacterial for folks who have serious urinary tract back, bacterial infections and serious UTIs from super colonies. There's a lot of biofilm busting in this. You just have to be careful and you can't use this more than a couple days because the oils in, in this dry leaf mixed in for in tea. Uh, but for the, sometimes for those really, I mean, excruciatingly painful urinary tract infections of a super, maybe what the person's running a high fever because the infection is so bad that their overall immune system is getting taxed High fever would like high high fever is very indicative of a, of a more serious bacterial infection. High fever, so there's UTIs that really don't have a fever state, but a UTI with a high fever with with such serious pain down below, but you're almost getting nephritis. It's moving into the kidneys. One or two days, where a little bit, maybe 25% of your tea formula of juniper, dry juniper, in with your manzanita leaf and your yerba manza leaf, might be worth, in a, worth seriously worth a try, because it's antibacterial and antiviral is so strong. We could only use it for a couple days in a situation like that, but it might be enough to knock the fever down, and it might be enough not to irritate the kidneys. It's definitely you don't want to take this juniper or any of the junipers internally for a long period of time. For the full video and for more plant teachings, visit Wild Medicine School at the link below.